What's up everyone? My name is Pete Nastasi. I'm a certified sports nutrition coach and personal trainer. And today we're gonna to be talking about the best supplements for joint pain. So let's talk about where joint pain comes from in the first place, right? In modern society where we're sitting a lot, joint pain just comes from a lack of movement. And if you're not actively walking, biking, moving in multiple planes of space on a daily basis, then you may experience some joint pain. There's also the case where you have an actual injury, right? You've played competitive sports or you've lifted very heavy weights for a long time, and there might actually be something wrong with this specific joint. Nine times out of 10, your body is not moving in the right way. You're looking at a biomechanics issue where if you fix a little bit of mobility, most of the time that joint pain will go away. In addition to stretching, working on mobility, which is definitely what I highly recommend, there also are some supplements that you can take that may help alleviate any joint pain that you might have, or at least help that process, right? So some of the most commonly used supplements for joint pain include glucosamine and chondroitin. They are building blocks for the cartilage that we have in our body. And the studies are really kind of like indeterminate whether they have positive effects or net neutral. In reality, there's really no downside to taking these products, aside from the fact that they can be quite pricey and you know they might be hurting your wallet while not necessarily helping. So we know that in today's modern society diet, we do wanna up the amount of omega-3s that we're taking in, and a great way to do so is through a fish oil. When you are looking for a fish oil in order to make sure that you're getting a high quality one, you want one that actually is over 50% in EPA and DHA. If it's less than that, then it's likely a lower quality fish oil that won't have the you know, benefits that you're looking for. Another supplement that's used a lot for people with joint pain is going to be turmeric, right? But it's not necessarily the turmeric, it's actually the active in turmeric, which is curcumin. A turmeric supplement, although it's marketed for joint pain, might not be extremely effective, right? The studies have basically shown that you need anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of curcumin to actually have these positive joint health results. If you really wanna improve your joint health, then I would look for a curcumin concentrate or curcumin specific type of supplement. Finally, the last supplement I would highly consider would be a collagen protein, right? You may have heard of collagen as being beneficial for skin health, which it can be, but it's able to build up in our joints and that is gonna help our joint health overall. So if you do have chronic joint pain, then the first thing I would definitely suggest is meeting with some kind of like biomechanic specialist, adding some mobility work, some stretching into your daily routine. That being said, a number of the supplements we talked about today can definitely help. 